What would you say would be Alex's legacy? I would say he made being smart cool. Yeah. He made being an intellectual look like a sport. And you rooted for these people that were like division one and professional athletes. Yes. Yeah. And he made it cool because he was cool and he was that smart. There's this beautiful clip of a man talking about actually learning English because of Alex. You see the emotion from him. Any family members uh, back home uh, cheering you on? You know, here's a true story, man. Uh, I grew up, I learned English because of you. And so my grandfather who, who raised me, I'm gonna get tears right now. He, we used, I used to sit on his lap and watch you every day. So it's a pretty special moment for me, man. Tell me about that story in that day. What's amazing is how often that has happened to him. He has touched so many lives and he's been such a fixture uh, for so long. But that day we had a contestant. He was from India, had an amazing backstory. Yes. And he said that ultimately he learned English and his perfect diction he attributed to Alex Trebek. Mm. And it moved Alex. I mean, it really, you know, not, he was pretty steady on that stage and it, it took him back. He fought this cancer battle and he fought it publicly too. And he, and he really didn't want people to feel sorry for him. What was that like to watch that? It was really hard to understand what he was doing because he was so public about it, but then did not want people feeling sorry for him. Didn't want you to look at him that way. When he walked onto that stage, he was still the man. And he was still the man until you, he told you he wasn't the man. So it was, it was very tough to watch him in pain because we all knew what was going on. It was beyond impressive watching him then pick himself up and deliver the show at the highest level. What will be the moment that you will always remember about Alex? I was in his office at his house and we were having a conversation about the future of the show and writing and, and clues. And Gene, his wife, walked in. And Kevin, it was like the rest of the world stopped. He said, oh, Jeannie, come on in. You have to meet Mike. And 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 you, he loved her so much, it was visible in the room. Mm -hmm. And you would think it would be a Jeopardy moment or something like that. It was the, wow, this guy is the real deal. He's a great family man and a great broadcaster. And that is what makes him special. You know, look. Every show eventually has to go on, and Alex talked about who he might want one day to replace him. And he mentioned some very interesting people. Did he say anything about future plans for the show? He never mentioned names to us. He really wanted to be the host of the show while he was the host of the show. So we didn't say, hey, what about this person or what about that person? And we haven't. It was his show until he told us he was gonna retire and amazingly, he never did. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a blessing. Uh, he did talk about what it would take to be a good Jeopardy host. Um, typical Alex, he was uh, self-deprecating, said it's not that hard. Let me tell you that that is maybe the hardest show on television to host. 61 clues in 22 minutes, mm -hmm. accents, pronunciations, scoring, calling on people, ruling on the answers. So he, he, he talked a lot about that it needs to be someone that uh, the audience will respect, that's believable in the role, has credibility, um, and, and, that's, and, and that's who he was. And he was so smart that you, you bought it because you knew he knew the answer too. Is there at least a list that you, are, that you all will think through once the morning period is over? We have thoughts and a plan but one of the things that we have done is we have not actively pursued people because we still had our guy and now we don't. And now we will eventually, you know, in a couple of weeks have start having those conversations because we owe it to Alex to keep the show going. That's the only thing that'll propel us to be honest. Um, and that's when we'll start to, to really uh, talk to people and, and, and see who can do this. It's going to take a, uh, someone with an amazing skill set. Will the show come back in the new year? Yes, absolutely. That is the one thing he made us promise, that this great show was not done. He did not want to be bigger than the show. Fought that his whole time. 
He said, it's the show, it's the clues, it's the contestants. Um, obviously, we all feel that he was an, an incredibly huge part of that, but that was his take. So we will be back. Um, we're in mourning now uh, as a group, as you can imagine, but uh, we, we will be back and, um, and we'll honor his legacy by producing more great shows. How will you pay tribute to Alex? We recorded a message that I delivered on the Jeopardy set just explaining to everyone that these are his final 35 shows um, and uh, and that he wanted us to air them so to, so to enjoy them and enjoy him at the top of his game. We'll honor him every show this season, obviously will be um, dedicated to him. And, and really, I think the best thing that we can do to honor him is to come back and make great Jeopardy shows. How hard was it to deliver that message to that crew, which I'm sure is a close knit crew and those are people who had worked with him for so many years? It's the toughest thing I've ever done. And uh, you can tell I'm, I'm fighting back tears. Everyone are, is around on the, on the crew. Everyone is in tears, um, but we wanted to, to do the right thing for him. And that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do. And that's, that's what drove us.